different to someone. vlog um, I'm having a real busy day as you saw I went to a PT session this morning um, I got up before that just to do a bit of editing as well and then I come back here put the baby down for a nap as you can see didn't last very long um, and got ready very quickly because I am gonna head out to a lunch with their minerals and then I've got a haircut after that and then I'm going to come back here, finish off my packing, and we are going to leave for the farm. Um, I thought I was going to do a little try-on for you today, but lass, Stop in. someone needed me. Um, so, you're waving. So, my loves, I'm just, um, we're just having a brief bit of mummy time before I head out to this lunch, which I'm excited about, actually. I'm forever hungry, so I'm ready for some food. you up to a point there and then everything got a bit crazy because I had to leave the Bare Minerals lunch a little bit early, well quite early, the dessert had not been served, um, to go to my haircut, which I wish I hadn't scheduled those two things close together, but I booked the haircut absolutely ages ago. Um, so anyway, so I had to run and I got a cab to my haircut because I was like, what is the fastest route here? Obviously driving is long, but cabs can use bus lanes. And I managed to make it on time-ish, in within my 15 minute grace period. And yeah, I didn't film anything of my haircut because you know when you're late and like you just, you know that the hairdresser wants to speed through your appointment. You know, you don't want to faff around. So I did not film anything. He always tries it straight just so he can get a good cut on it. Um, so <laughs> it's looking a little sophisticated um, right now. And it's probably a little shorter than I wanted. He cut it to the length that I told him to cut it to, but I just didn't describe very well what I wanted, I don't think. So it's a little bit shorter than I wanted, but it will grow very quickly, I'm sure. Um, and I've got all these little sprouty bits at the top because he blow dried it. You can see all my new hair growth at the top. It looks kind of crazy. Um, but yes, he's basically just thinned it out quite a lot underneath. So hopefully, it will not look heavy at the ends. That's my main issue with my hair always, because it's straight and there's quite a lot of it. It always just looks really like bulky at the ends and I just, I loved it when I first had my hair extensions out and I'm forever 
forever trying to recreate that because she just like sheared at it to blend the extensions um, and so yes we'll see how this kind of dries when I wash it next <coughs> some complaints from the back because we haven't got any music on but <laughs> anyway we are now headed to the farm so yeah Kate sped home then we packed up the rest of our stuff hi my loves um apologies for coming at you with another getting ready for bed <laughs> sequence um but we arrived at the farm and my stepdad's brother is here who I haven't seen for a very long time so um obviously we'll be catching up that is why i have not been vlogging and then suddenly you know it's very late and we had to set the baby up here and get her ready for bed we haven't built the new car because you know an ikea flat pack isn't what you want to be doing at this time of night when you have to get a baby in bed <laughs> um, so she's just in her travel car because we brought that too so we could put that in the main house so she could kind of nap in there if we're over there. So we set her up and she's just upstairs sleeping. It's obviously one big room, library barn, so this bathroom's obviously separate. I could close the door, which I have done, but if I'm keeping my voice down a little bit it's because I don't really want her to wake up <laughs> or hear me. Um, but she's got her white noise on so hopefully that she'll cover us a little bit. But you know, the other day, here's a mum's story for you. I went to swimming without a hairband and I had to use a mask, like one of those disposable blue masks to tie my hair up. Um, it was not my best look, guys. Then the following week I did it again and I had to, I did this time I have a cloth mask with a non-disposable one, which is actually bad because I had to remove the elastic from it and that's such a fact. And now I think I've lost the elastic. So that mask now only has one ear hole. <laughs> I kind of wish I had another disposable one, but at the same time I was quite embarrassed. Um, but anyway, <laughs> so I'm hairbandless once again. I did have I did have my hair up a minute ago, but I took it down because I'm getting really horrible migraine, um, or I was, but then I've actually down some water. It has made me feel a little bit better, so maybe I was just really super dehydrated, which is extremely possible. So I just have not, at the moment, I just, I'm finding it really difficult to drink my water. Like, I used to be really good at carrying my water bottle around, but now, because I'm just carrying so much other stuff around all the time, and now that Vlogmas has been done as well, and lugging around <laughs> cameras and equipment and stuff. Um, I just, my water bottle gets left by the wayside and trying to keep on top of it is so hard but I really need to start drinking more because obviously I'm still breastfeeding and it's super important to stay hydrated for so many different reasons anyway I took my hair down because I was getting migraine and also I do find the cause of some of my headaches is like um, tension from having my hair up so I can only have it up in very brief <laughs> periods but anyway that is possibly a selection of world's most boring stories um, but yeah it's so nice to be back here I walked in and I was like that is the smell of my third trimester like so vividly feels like I just remember being so heavily pregnant here and like going up and down the stairs in the middle of the night I used to do my makeup in here and I remember chatting to the vlog about how hard I found it just to stand up and do my makeup. Like I'd get so out of breath, I'd start feeling faint, um, mad. So yeah, it really smells of my walk in here, it really reminds me of that. I just found this Ren Evercalm Overnight Recovery Balm. I have no idea if it's supposed to use it on your face, but my face is so dry. It's feeling pretty greasy, but I don't really care. I'm so dry, I could probably do with a bit of intense moisturisation. But it also does remind me being here of when Inez was small, because we came out here a fair amount to have people visit, because it felt like a bit of a safer place for people to visit. Um, 
because we could spend a lot more time outdoors and they could stay in like a separate building. So it also reminds me of her being really tiny and um, I don't know, makes me think how much she has grown. <laughs> right my loves, just trying to wrestle some absolutely frozen lip balm out of this. It is pretty, well it's pretty cold in here I think, but I don't know, I'm running hot this evening. And this jump is quite cozy. This is a free people one. I think I've shown it on my Instagram. This isn't the best. <laughs> this isn't the best view of it. In fact, I meant to film my outfit today and everything, but I just honestly did not get a minute in front of the mirror. And now I've changed into my mum coat and I've taken my shoes off and my trousers are well done. <laughs> so you won't be seeing this outfit today. <laughs> but I'm sure you'll see this jumper again. Um, but it's very cozy and warm actually. So it's that maybe that's why I'm running a bit hot this evening. But yes, it is most definitely time for bed. I'm so tired. <laughs> I feel like this morning was about a million years ago. Um, especially when you're running on so little sleep in life. It's tough to do, you know, more than one thing in a day. We've made it here. I'm so excited for my friends to start running tomorrow. As we know, I am like, terrible at blocking with my friends go around, so you might only see snippets of the weekend. So excited for them to come. We've got lots to do tomorrow. We've got to do a big food shop. Um, got to get. This, I want to get this cot set up if we can. I don't know. Hopefully, we can unpack some things and then leave them here as well because we're coming back next weekend as well. Um, so yes, it would be good to just get some things sorted out and then obviously we'll be spending Christmas here. So getting the place looking nice is always a top priority. But yes, yeah, so we've got a lot of things to do tomorrow and I think the girls are arriving at decent times. Um, need to get all need to get cracking in the morning. And so I must go to sleep. I will see you again tomorrow. Well, loves. good morning. Um, I was about to say it's another day in the workroom. <laughs> it's not another day in the workroom. It's another day of Vlogmas and um, we, as you can see, I'm wearing the same clothes as I was yesterday because Zach and I are essentially rolling out of bed straight into the shops um, because we have lots to do today and sometimes if you start getting ready, nothing gets done. But if you do all the stuff first, then you have to very quickly get ready. It's a little bit quicker. So that's our, that's our reasoning. So we're just gonna go straight to the shop and start buying some bits. We need some food. Got a, I've got a couple of bits to buy, general stuff. And then we'll head back here. Hair's still looking very sleek <laughs> after my haircut yesterday. I might give it a wash, even though it's nice and clean.
back. I don't know what clips you just saw, but I hope you got a few little snippets of our lovely weekend. It is Sunday evening. I've just finished packing everything up. We're going to head back to London. Um, I had such a nice weekend with my girls. As always, we were just silly and festive and had a really lovely time together. And I miss them so much all the time. And I think especially when you have a baby as well and you see the baby's just growing, growing between visits with your friends. It's sad that they can't be there more often and to kind of see her more but when they're here. Got to be grateful for that at least. But yes, all packed up just deciding what to leave here because we'll be back out here next weekend. Um, so trying not to take absolutely everything back with us. So just been trying to sort that out. This place is an absolute tip. I hope this vlog is not too minimal. I think because I had a much busier Thursday than I anticipated and what we usually like to do or usually at least dream of doing or want to do is come out here quite early on the Thursday, spend the whole day setting up, spend Friday morning setting up, sorting everything out getting ourselves unpacked getting everything organized and then everything is sorted out but yes like i said i didn't really realize how busy my thursday was until like the week before and i was like oh no <laughs> this is not good that is why um i didn't have much time to chat to you on friday uh because yeah i would have liked to have done all sorts on friday i had lots of things planned for the vlog but these things happen, I suppose. So, um, yes, but hopefully this next Thursday coming is, is a lot less busy. Um, I might even move my PT session just so we have a completely free day. We can get on the road, get out here. And I've also realised that it's just busy, 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 basically, until Christmas. So um, next weekend when we come out after my friends are gone, I think it's time for us to really prepare in here for Christmas. It's filled with crap. Um, so prepare for Christmas properly so that when we arrive, because um, we're arriving quite late from the north, um, when we arrive, everything will be sorted. Um, and I really need to do some Christmas shopping this week, like really need to do some. So I need to make a good prioritizing list of things I need to do this week. Vlogmas, top of the list. Um, yeah, Christmas presents got to be top of the list because I just don't even know when we will have time to properly, like by the time they've all arrived, wrap them and everything. So Christmas presents, top of the list. I definitely had some more things from my list, so I'm going to write that probably in the car. But I'm going to head over to the main house, see how the baby's doing. Zach is just feeding her a bit of dinner. Then we're going to hit the road um, and see how we get on. But yes had such a nice time with my friends. I always feel so sad when they leave. Um, we all get a bit of like a great wave of sadness on a Sunday. Let us go over and see what the baby's up to. Mm -hmm. 